here at mainstage to ableton.com and today we're talking about how you can install third-party VSTs. Um, now if you're installing a certain type of VST it's going to automatically do it for you. However, um, recently I came across a situation where that was not the case um, and some instruments just don't have installer packages but that doesn't mean we can't use them in live. Today we're actually going to walk through how to do that. So I just downloaded from the internet Synth1, uh, which if you haven't checked out Synth1, this is an amazing plugin. Um, it's an amazing synthesizer. It's super intuitive. It sounds great. Uh, I can't recommend it enough. Um, and there's a link to download that in the details below. Um, but I've just downloaded this VST version here. Um, so I'm going to double click that and unzip it. And so now you'll notice that I have a .vst file. And this is not going to show up in Ableton just because it's on my desktop. We actually have to place it um, in a folder for Ableton to see it. Um, so what you're going to do is in your finder, you're going to head over to your hard drive. And you're going to go library. And then you're going to go audio. And then, and then you're going to go plugins. And then you'll see here you've got a list of different types of files. Now this is a VST, so we're going to go into the VST folder. And you'll see here a list probably of things that you use. Um, I've got all of my VSTs are in here. Um, now I have recently installed Synth1, so if we go down to the S's, here's my Synth1. Um, but you would drag this in. And then we're going to go ahead and open up live. You'll see it goes through scanning custom and user VSTs. Awesome. All right, now in our browser over here on the left, we'll click plugins and we'll select VSTs. And this is going to list all of the VCTs that are in that folder. Here's my synth one. Can drag that on. And there we go. I have got my synth all loaded up and ready to use. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you're new to Ableton, and especially if you're switching from Mainstage, head over to my website at mainstagetoableton.com forward slash go to get your free copy of the Fast Track Patch List Guide today, which will have you up and running uh, with a Mainstage style patch list in Ableton Live. And to stay up to date with all of our latest blog posts, be sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel here.